Hey guys, it's Max from HighOnAndroid.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy Note 5 running on the latest Android 7.0 Nougat. I know a lot of you asked for this, so let me do this. Now also, let me point out, once you root your phone, you will lose your Samsung Pay, Samsung Pay forever. For good. Nada. Zip. Alright, just know that before you root. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this, baby. Alright guys, so to do this, um, you will need to be obviously on latest Android 7.0 Nougat. The first thing you want to do, obviously, uh, is go into settings, right? Go to about device. Make sure model number is one of the ones that support it. I've got the International SM N920C. This roof method will work for US T-Mobile, uh, Sprint, also Canadian um, US Cellular, uh, the Chinese SM N920 hundred or SMN9208, uh, also all the Korean ones, N92K, N920L, uh, N920S, and also all the international model models, N920C, N920CD, N920G, N920I. Those are all the models that will work on. AT&T and Verizon have locked bootloaders, so you're out of luck. I would say just sell your phone, um, get a T-Mobile version or international. All right, next thing you wanna do is go into software info, Hit the build number about five times until it says developer mode has been turned on. Hit the back button twice. All right, and if you go down, you'll see developer options. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, make sure OEM unlock is checked on. Now some phones don't have it, which means it's already on, so you can skip this step, but if you see OEM unlock, make sure it is on, all right? Next, we're gonna go ahead and power off our phone. All right, next we're gonna go hold, hold down volume down center home, and power. All right, hold it down until you see the warning screen. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit volume up, and you're gonna go ahead and connect a micro USB cable from your phone to your computer. All right, let's go to our computer. All right, next you'll need five files. First, you'll need uh, Magisk, Odin, Samsung USB drivers, anti-removal tool, and twerp for your model of Note 5. Um, to get these, go to my site, galaxynote5root.com, go to Tools, go to Odin and Samsung Drivers, um, go ahead and download Odin, download Samsung USB Driver. Let me go ahead and show you how to download these drivers. Um, if you click on it, you'll come to the download site. Um, just avoid all the ads, go down here, uh, where it says download here, click here to download, and that's how you download. All right, do that for all the files. Uh, Odin, Samsung USB Driver. Go back to Tools, go to Root Tools, all right, and go ahead and download Magisk and also Samsung Anti-Root. All right, that's four files. The fifth file is over here, Twerp. Um, go ahead and download the appropriate Twerp for your model of Note 5. If you don't see your model listed here, do not download. I'm using an SMN 920C, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this. All right, once you have downloaded all the files, first thing you wanna do is unzip Odin v3.23.zip. All right, extract all files. You get a folder with Odin. Uh, program. Go ahead and double click in odin3.exe, run, and you should be able to see this blue highlighted box. If you don't see that, you don't have the proper drivers installed, um, go back to the downloads folder. Um, go ahead and double click on Samsung USB drivers uh, exe file to install the drivers. Once the drivers is installed, you should be able to see this. If you don't see this, try using a different USB port and also cable. All right, next you're going to go ahead and hit AP, go to your downloads folder, and go ahead and choose your twerp file for your model of Note 5. Um, go ahead and choose the file ending in img.tar. Hit open, and this is very important. Um, next, as soon as your screen goes off, you're gonna go ahead and hold down volume up, center home, and power at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start, and wait here, and it will say reset on Odin. Go ahead and hold down volume up, center home, and power right after. Keep holding it down for an additional about one, two, Three, and let go of all the buttons, you will be in twerp recovery. All right, um, go back to your computer and we're gonna go ahead and copy over Magisk and also Samsung Anti-Removal Kit. Go ahead and do a right click copy, go into Galaxy Note 5, I'll go ahead and paste it anywhere here. All right, two files copied over. Let's go back to our phone, you don't need your computer anymore. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go into install. Go ahead and find the file you just copied over, Magisk, zip file. Go ahead and add more zip. 
and make sure you put Samsung anti-root kit. Swipe to flash, this should take about five seconds. Um, it will give you root and also it will give you uh, Magisk root, which you'll be able to disable root for certain apps like Pokemon Go or if you want to use Android Pay. All right, that's pretty much it. And you should be good to go. And let's go ahead and reboot system. And also say do not install. The, it's a twerp app, you don't need it. Um, that's pretty much it. And I'm getting a Galaxy Note 7 uh, splash screen because I installed a Galaxy Note 7 splash screen uh, through the Note 7 ROM. All right. But once rebooted, you should be fully rooted on Android 7.0 Nougat. And let me go ahead and show you how to get full root though. Um, there's some additional sip steps because we're using Magisk. All right. First thing you want to do, um, you will want to go into the Play Store. All right. Go ahead and type super user on the Play Store. And go ahead and do download PHA super user, this one, all right? And also download Magisk Manager. Magisk, just type Magisk. And you'll see Magisk. Um, it's just update to the latest version. All right. And once those have been downloaded, you will have full root. All right. PHA super user installed. Magisk manager updated. Tim Schofield trolling in my video. <laughs> Google I.O. No, I'm not going, bro. <laughs> um, all right. Once that's done, go ahead and open super user. You're good to go. Um, also open up Magisk manager. All right. And make sure you hit allow. Um, you'll see that it's properly rooted. Now you will be able to disable root. I'll have another video on that. If you want to disable root with Magisk, um, go ahead and download Titanium Backup app from the Play Store, run it, and boom shakalaka. If you see this, you'll have full root, and that's how you root your Galaxy Note 5 on latest Android 7.0 Nougat. All right, don't forget to thumbs up for me if you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, tweet me, leave a comment in the video, leave a comment on my website. I'll try my best to get back to you. You should have a fully rooted Note 5 by now. I do actually recommend backing up your ROM right now. If you don't know how to do that, go check out uh, my twerp guide on how to do this. I'll put it right here or in the description below. Have a great day and as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.